So here we have the AFE cold induction kit for the Jeep Wrangler JL model. And in this particular case, I found this to be the perfect fit for the 4xe model, which is the one that I have. Kind of researched online and noticed that some of the other kits just didn't fit the 4xe for size or whatever other issue it might have been. And it seems this might be the perfect balance using the current air filter box and then just adding the induction tube and the performance filter to it. So let's open it up and have a look. Let's check inside here. All right, well that's a decent amount of paper. Instruction book. The inverted cone. I decided to go with the dry. That way I don't really have any oil going through the intake system. I find it's just a better, cleaner setup. Clamp rings. There. More paper. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the induction tube. So as you can see, definitely a lot wider than the stock one that it comes with. Silicone there, number two there. All right, well, that's it. There's all our pieces. Let's get this thing installed and check it out. Here's a quick peek inside the manual. All the parts it comes with, how everything lines up. There's the engine bay there. This is the install that we're gonna do. So it looks pretty straightforward. Awesome. Oh, there's the manual there. Straightforward install. Let's get it done. Here's the inside of the 4xe engine bay and the intake that we're gonna be replacing. So there's our filter. That's gonna slip, well, in the air box like that. That'll sit down in there. And then the intake tube that we have is gonna replace the stock one. And that's gonna sit right there like that. So this should be a pretty quick, straightforward install. All right, let's get this on. Here's a cold start of the engine bay. intake installed and then I'll do after sounds of the engine bay and the exhaust see if there's any difference doing the filter portion of this doll is very easy bolt there one right down in there right there and there this little pop off and then we'll just slip the air filter in very straightforward then we'll move on to the intake pipe. And this one's just as easy. Bolt there, bolt there. Undo the clamp here. Undo the clamp there. Pinch this 
and this will pop out the sensor and with the little ease we'll pop this out and then this whole piece will come out we just swap it with the new one that's it no cutting it's just a straight bolt in easy one all right we have it installed filters in the box induction pipe is on sensors back in everything's nice and snug here i also unhook the negative so we'll put that back on as well and we'll start her up and see what happens hopefully no check engine light either all right let's start it up So far, no check engine light. That's a good sign. Once again, there we have it, fully installed. Just turned it back on to double check about an hour later. Still no check engine light. So that's it, easy install. Maybe we'll see a difference, maybe we won't. I guess time will tell, but nonetheless, it'll open up the intake a little bit anyway. Thanks for watching.